I'm Mackenzie Preston. I'm a fifth year PhD student at the Wharton School. I'm very excited about presenting this research, which is in collaboration with my super awesome collaborator, Michael Park. So we've been talking about a lot today. There's been this increasing sort of drive and demand to have more conversations around diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace. But what my co-author and I were really interested in was what is the effect of leaders trying to drive these conversations, asking employees for their thoughts, experiences, concerns on diversity, equity, and inclusion issues. So this led us to our primary research question. When and why does leader DEI input solicitation increase or decrease employees' silence on DEI issues. We suggest that DEI input solicitation is likely to have the strongest effect on racial minority employees. And these effects are likely to be mixed, that it could be a double-edged sword, that on the one hand, racial minority employees may view DEI input solicitation from leaders as an identity threat, that it's drawing attention to their marginalized identity, and this may not be a safe space for them to share all of the thoughts and concerns that they've been suppressing. On the other hand, DEI input solicitation can be viewed as an identity safety cue, that it can acknowledge the, the marginalized identity that racial minority employees have, and they finally have the opportunity to share some of the thoughts that they've been withholding. And so we suggest that leaders' behavioral empathy is the key moderator that determines how employees respond to DEI input solicitation from leaders. So we define leader behavioral empathy as leaders acknowledging and validating the emotional concerns in this context specifically as it relates to talking about DEI issues. And we suggest that when leaders fail to display leader behavioral empathy, that racial minority employees will experience more interpersonal anxiety and suppress their thoughts more. And when leaders display high levels of behavioral empathy, they do address the emotional concerns related to discussing DEI and they reduce racial minority employees' silence. So we test this across three studies. Study one is a time lag survey with full-time employees. Study two is a vignette experiment where we manipulate low and high levels of behavioral empathy. And then study 2B, we manipulate general input solicitation versus DEI input solicitation. So here are the findings from study one. We find that there's no significant interaction effect of DEI input solicitation and behavioral empathy for white employees, but there is a significant interaction effect for racial minority employees. When leaders display low levels of behavioral empathy, there's a, a positive effect on racial minority employees' interpersonal anxiety. They're more likely to suppress their thoughts. When leaders display high levels of behavioral empathy, racial minority employees experience less interpersonal anxiety and they're less likely to suppress their thoughts on DEI issues. So in study two, 2A, we're manipulating low and high levels of behavioral empathy. And we find that there's, again, no significant interaction effect for white employees. And for racial minority employees, we do find this significant interaction effect. Here are the theoretical contributions. First, we generate theory to explain that DEI input solicitation can be a double-edged sword. That on the one hand, it can increase racial minority employees' silence on DEI issues, but on the other hand, it can reduce their silence. We also generate theory to explain when and why racial minorities are silent on DEI issues. Existing research suggests that racial minorities are incredibly motivated and passionate about trying to improve DEI issues, but we show that there's actually cases in which they may not feel comfortable doing so in an organizational setting. And then third, we disentangle leader uh, input solicitation from behavioral empathy and show that they're unique leadership behaviors, and both are necessary to create and cultivate a workplace environment in which all employees feel comfortable talking about DEI issues. Thank you.